Hello there, my name is Ismox and today I want to show you how to use a vertex paint in Blender 2.8. Yeah, so I'm creating this post World War uh, game assets and uh, I wanted to create this road where it has different uh, textures for different areas. For example, I can see at the edges of the road here, I want to have some kind of a grass uh, texture and then have a blend into mud and then some uh, rock pebbles and uh, you can see some traces of uh, tire yeah tire yeah tire textures uh, yeah so now you can use you can if you unwrap this and uh, use a, and just paint a mask uh, for this but uh, that can take a while and uh, you have then you have to re unwrap and then also you have to do uh, the image painting and uh, that's something I did. I, I wanted to try out a different workflow and uh, this is what uh, I guess this is a good example on how to use that so let me just duplicate this rod here maybe isolate it for a second and I turn off most of the modifiers here that we're not going to need right or maybe just have it actually I don't need that either so this is uh, the fully painted and let me just show you the vertex paint we're using here. So if I go to, you can see I set a vertex color here. You can see if I can show you just that. You can see we are using the vertex paint, vertex paint uh, to create a mask uh, for where we want uh, the grass to be. And uh, you can create multiple masks. Uh, maybe let me just show you how you can use this just going to create a new material here just remove this entirely and then let's create a new material uh, with different inputs so let's say input rgb uh, this is going to be the green grass uh, i'm just using solid colors uh, for the different textures so this is green for our grass now this is going to be for our dirt let me just use a brown dark brown now let me use a bluish so this is going to be our pebbles now you could use texture painting uh, to create the mask for this but uh, that's usually a bit difficult because i uh, unless if you're going to use multiple images it would be very difficult i uh, would have to create a different mask uh, a different image mask uh, to blend these image these different colors but uh, with vertex paint if i remove this what you can do you can just create a new vertex color click ok and then go to vertex paint and start to paint seeing uh, you won't be able to see it in the materials you just have to turn to uh, report shading to see what you're painting uh, usually the default color is set to white so if you're trying to paint and uh, you're not seeing anything uh, make sure you change between the color so you're also not limited to just blue you can change you can paint different colors but uh, yeah let's switch back to black so that we can create other black and white mask so I'm just creating a new mask uh, for say the grass where the grass is going to be and uh, i want the grass to be represented by this uh, red green color so yes this is going to be a mask and now to use this you just have to add uh, the vertex colors into your shader shaders so input vertex color you can even rename this so i'll call this grass mask now if we preview if you go to the materials tab and use ctrl shift click i should be able to see uh, that mask now because i've just changed uh, the name here uh this color this uh vertex group no longer exists so i just have to go back vertex color so that i can find that i can see this is what we have now to mix these two so the white areas will be uh, the dot 
and the green area and the black areas will be the green so just use a color mix rgb uh, feed color one uh, feed the green into color one and then this into color two and then use this you can either choose to use the color or vector or factor let's go to the factor which is just going to give us a black and white mask for a value between one and zero depending on the values we have here so you can see we're using that as our mask and you can select the mask here from the vertex colors and still be able to paint uh, if you change the color here you can erase so we have our dot we have our brush now let's add in some uh, i don't know pebbles or something so for that we just create a new mask you can create as many masks as you want so i'll just call this pebbles and uh, i can go to the vertex group sorry shift a input add a vertex group i can see after you add it here it should be accessible under here we haven't painted anything to this so if you try previewing this you won't be able to see anything uh, but uh, you will be able to see let me see okay let's, it shouldn't be i think it, it has to refresh first i don't expect it to be showing oh i still have that selected uh, so you need to make sure that uh, okay this must be maybe a bug or something I see I think I understand what's going on here So remember that when you select the mask, the mask you select here is the one you're painting on. So right now I'm painting on uh, this mask here. So I think this is a bug. You should be able to preview what you're seeing here. And I think the reason why we're seeing the bottom mask is because we have to clear uh, the results of the last mask. So let's do that. Let's just select a flat color go to paint and then set vertex color and that will just reset uh, the entire uh, this will just fill paint out uh, the entire mesh with the color you select here so if i change this and go to that you can see i get that now i think yeah if you now we can switch between so what was confusing here is that uh, when you create a new mask it will carry uh, the earlier uh, paint strokes are that you painted with it so uh, if you want to clear that you have to just uh, I think ish, I think uh, for usability thing I think it should be you should start from scratch you should start with a fresh uh, the fresh mask instead of uh, starting just getting a duplicate of this but uh, yeah, I think that's a feature you should you can ask for. But uh, so reset this completely by painting that, and now we can just change the color back here and uh, paint like so. Now, if we switch between this and this, we can see what we get now can go back to the materials and preview okay we no longer have these pebbles because I deleted it so I just need to bring that back here okay, you can see if we switch between this uh, sometimes the viewport doesn't update right away you need to move your cursor in and out uh, zoom in and zoom out uh, to refresh uh, the viewport to be able to see so, so that you're able to see uh, the mask. Now we can bring in 
our pebbles here by adding another mix RGB. This time mixing this uh, with this and our mask is now uh, this mask. So if I select this color mask, I can paint whatever color is here and remember you can now change this color to whatever you want as well so and uh, if you switch this out for textures you can start to see what uh, you want so you can see how that looks let's switch this out different texture as well let's see what we have and yeah, so you can use vertex colors uh, to print some quite uh, some interesting uh, texturing and uh, it's what I was using in the original file. So let me just show off that. First, disable some of these masks, all, all these uh, modifiers. You can see I start off with uh, this color. And uh, the great thing about uh, Vertex painting, you don't even have to bake any image textures. This is baked into the mesh, the colors are baked into the mesh. Uh, though what I would have to, uh, but uh, the resolution of the, uh, the paint is going to be based on the number of vertices in your scene, in your in your mesh. So you can see for this, uh, I had two materials, one uh, for this uh, kind of grass with pebbles in them, and then. Uh, this uh, muddy surface and I used this mask uh, I used the vertex painting a vertex painting mask uh, to create uh, this mask where it masks, masks off uh, the pebbles or the grass from the dirt uh, you can see now what we have now if I paint it onto this you'll see that I'll start to be I'll be painting in uh, more pebbles make sure that I'm actually painting in the right stuff let's see the mask ah, you need to be in uh, vertex paint non texture painting so painting and uh, you don't even have to save uh, the vertex paint are they saved whenever you save other project files Let's see. yeah so that's it thank you for watching